One of my favorite features that is included with all of our tenancy websites is our photo album. Our photo album allows us to create rich photo galleries, share them, have other people from our website, from our community, add photos, and I'm going to show you a little bit more about how to use that module with your website so you can start adding and sharing photos from your organization's events and activities too. The first thing you'll want to do is decide some of the photo settings and again under content you'll come down here to photos and the settings widget will bring you to the settings for the photos module. You can decide what you want to name it. In this case, we're calling it photos. You can call it photo album, photo gallery, event photos, whatever you'd like to call it for your organization. You can determine if you want only site admins to be able to add photos or any registered site user. You can also customize in the selected permissions if members only or some users can't on an individual basis. Of course, whether or not the module is enabled, you can determine the order that you want your photo albums displayed in. Photo ordering lets you determine inside of each photo album the order of the photos based on how you uploaded them. So if you upload them all in one order, you can have them display in that album in the order that they uploaded in or descending order, and then you would update your settings. You can reach your photo album going up to your content menu again and just clicking on photos. Now I'm showing you on Tenancy site because we have a number of photo albums already and I can demonstrate what that looks like when you're seeing an actual photo album. So for example, if we come down here to this photo album, we've got the title. Here's the gallery of the different thumbnails of the photos. You're able to edit, delete, add photos, edit photos, and download a zip file of photos within this album. All of this is from an admin logged in view and we can click on a photo and you can see it has the attribution license who took the photo or uploaded the photo. You can add comments to it. You can edit the photo, view all sizes, which takes us to the option to download a variety of the different sizes of the photos all the way from a 75 by 75 square image of it, which is what you might use for example a Twitter or a headshot type image, all the way up to the original size that it was uploaded in. And you can download them. You can also copy and paste the link directly into a web page HTML to share this on someone else's website, making it very easy to embed and share your photos. And you can come back to the photo and go through the photos that you took through each album. And you can use photo albums to engage with your members and site visitors by having the photos of the events that you've been at, what you guys are doing in the community and what your organization is doing to share them. Show people having fun, doing cool things. So that's kind of an overview of photo albums and getting started. And in the next video, I will show you how to create a new photo album and upload new photos to your website so that you can start creating photo albums as well.